disgruntled of Heavertree has uh, been talking again and um, has another excellent point to make about the buses. Um, if you if you haven't heard about all this before, search for Disgruntled of Heavertree on uh, on YouTube. You'll probably find find this. It was also in the in the Express and Echo, and the uh, Devon Live reporting did did um, borrow the the YouTube video, but they did credit it. So um, it, it 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 is known. So. Um, Briefly, the the problem is the design of the bus stop information is very hard to access if you're not uh, very tall uh, because it's, it just goes straight to the top of the poster. There's blank space at the bottom of it if there's only one route, as there is in um, the, the, the Heavertree bus stop, South Lawn Terrace. Um, but the, the, the immediate thing we're talking about now um, because even from Hevertree, we do go to the, the Waitrose uh, St. Leonard's bus stop, which is sort of that's very, very close to St. Luke's. Um, and that, that's got, I think, I, I would say just completely wrong information. It still shows the A bus as going to South Lawn Terrace. Uh, yeah, I, I th it does. I've just gone over. I'm, I'm a little way away from the screen at the moment um, because of the microphones at this time. Uh, but I, that photograph I took yesterday, and I've just tweeted it. So it's got one one photograph of of both uh, notices with type bus information, and then a detail of the A bus route shown there, which I, I'm not sure where it's going. I think it still goes to Elfington. But it's it doesn't go anywhere near South Lawn Terrace, so I'm um, I'm concluding really there's a there's a very large problem with the buses, and um, don't know quite what to do about it because we we send we send things off, we get some sort of response, but the the actual design of the information doesn't change and it seems to be getting worse if they haven't updated that that particular set of information um also we i sent a, i sent an email to someone who'd previously responded um from devon county council who are ultimately responsible for information on buses i think i think i'm right in saying that and um they they sent back a fair, very standard email um, we're very busy so thank you but probably we can't respond to everything something like that which I think is, is actually true I, I think that there is a real budget problem uh, with Devon County Council so um, I'll, I'll keep on um, posting to YouTube and social media and so forth um, but I I don't because you see on the on the um on the Echo, when it was reported in print, there was a statement from Stagecoach Southwest, which said, um, "We welcome all feedback, and we're trying to communicate, and uh, we've we've got we, we're very pleased with our new system." But the design, typically, the, their design puts everything at the top of the page and there's blank space at the bottom of the page and then when it's placed on the bus stop it's very often so high up um, a lot of people who don't have excellent eyesight or happen to be tall can't, can't see it that's the that's the fundamental point um, Exeter City Council do understand this sort of thing they put their poster for the planning consultation um, at the Hevertry bus stop in the space you would look at it it was eye level on top of the blank space in the original design so Exeter City Council have some understanding of, of what's going on um, but I'm not sure any of them understand social media for example which could could be a, a cheaper way of communicating if they actually answered um, tweets I know, I know Twitter's got its problems at the moment but um, Typically, well, from memory, what I what I think happened 
with my tweets was um, I tweeted to Stagecoach. This is this was this is going back a couple of months now. Um, Stagecoach tweeted back it was actually local authorities who were responsible for bus stops. Then Exeter City Council, who I then tweeted, said it's uh, it's actually Devon County Council who were responsible. So, and then uh, Devon County Council suggested I email. I think that was the sequence on the tweeting. But I, 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 I do understand costs are a, an issue, but communication of some kind is, is necessary, you would think, on some sort of scale. And I think social media might be, might be an option if there was more activity on it. Certainly on um, YouTube, I don't think... Well, it's, it's, it's fairly general. Most organisations are not using the, the commenting or the channel comments or engaging with, the, with the, the feedback that they're getting there. And um, I think that's, that's uh, possibly a, a something, something to develop in the, in the, in the future. And it, anyway, I'll, I have retweeted this. Um, it's got two, so it's got the two photos there, the detail, which we think is wrong, and the, the, the posters. Uh, so anyway, disgruntled of habitry would like to hear uh, Eartha Kitt and Santa Baby. <laughs> 